Parkour is all about moving efficiently through your environment, but efficiently both in speed and uh, energy usage. Getting from A to B as fast and as fluently as possible. It's what you would do if you were in, a, in an emergency situation. It's what you want to do. <laughs> You're not just recklessly jumping, it's actually a philosophy to it. Like if there's a rail, you can vault over it instead of walking all the way around. Just, just moving through your environment with flow and grace. It's not at all, it's not at all to impress people. It's not about doing it for anybody but yourself. I, I consider it more of an art than a sport. Every person who uses parkour, whether they choose to use it as a philosophy or discipline, they're always trying to find ways to overcome obstacles mentally or physically as efficiently as possible. So a lot of us do this aspect of parkour without knowing it. I got involved in parkour basically like everyone else in the internet community. Uh, they see a video online or on TV and they just go with it from there. I saw a video of David Bell on the internet and my, my jaw literally dropped when I saw it. I, I immediately like tried to figure out who it was and when I did I just learned all I could about it. I was watching TV and this documentary came on, it's called Jump Britain. And I watched it and I was inspired so I was like, oh, I'm about to do this, I'm about to do this. I saw a video called Jump London and it featured Sebastian Focon. I worked in a gymnastics facility, so the next day I went there and trained this new type of movement because it was it was new to me even though I had been in gymnastics. Forrest, he does this thing called a monkey walk, and uh, he gets down and he and he feels his environment. You know, he he gets down and he uses all four kind of limbs in this quadrupedal motion, and he just kind of rocks back and forth, and he really gets his body going, and you can stretch these techniques as well and you just kind of you get connected with the ground you get connected with your environment and surroundings when I saw this I said I have to be a parkour missionary I have to show this to as many people as I can so I started going to the message boards and I saw a couple people that had been training in Texas and we started meeting up, we started uh, jamming together, and we started learning and teaching techniques to each other and just kind of learning and sharing knowledge. So we felt that we could do it the same for other people. So Texas parkour was kind of, uh, kind of grew from that. What we do is we train the most inefficient things possible in order to make them efficient.
generally we're training the hard things so that we make them easy. And once by making them easy, it's harder for everyone else to be able to follow us or we're able to get places that other people aren't. Free running was basically the redheaded stepchild of parkour. You use a lot of parkour techniques, but then you flow it into something that it's not, which you had the flair, you had the freedom of expression, you had the flips. There, there is a purpose to flips. Um, if you are, you know, on the top of a building and you slip and you're, you know, upside down or, or, or whatever, you know, that vestibular training and everything is going to help you uh, find your awareness, your equilibrium through the air and be able to land safely and efficiently um, through, through any environment. We generally use the words training because parkour is only used in a real situation. Um, you know, it's not a verb. Uh, you can't say, I'm parkouring. Uh, it doesn't work. If we're being uh, filmed, it's a performance. We are performing for the camera. We're going to show about this two minute long video of us just doing like these amazing things in business suits. And then we like rush in the doors and we're going to do like about a two minute performance for them as well. And then right at the end, they're going to, um, we're going to reveal the CEO, the key note speaker. And the, the whole idea behind the whole meeting is going to be about flow and efficiency through, you know, their representatives. So they took like our whole philosophy and they're applying it to a meeting. There's just this big debate about whether parkour should be uh, com competitive or not. It will take parkour from something that is internally driven or motivationally and inspirationally driven into something that is uh, driven into materialistic. People will be able to train for these competitions and they will get good, but they are training for the exact wrong reason. You know, with the philosophy of parkour and it being almost like a religion, you know, you think about, you know, Christianity or Buddhism, you know, and you cannot pray better than someone else. Uh, there's, you know, it's, it's a prayer. Just in, in parkour, uh, you're training, you know, you're not doing parkour better than someone else. The philosophy defines the movements. The movements do not define the philosophy. Planet's moving.